Michael Ness. I'm a project engineer at Dakota Growers Pasta Company. Went to school at NDSU. Uh, I started out at MSUM Moorhead and went there to play football. Decided to go into pre-med and pre-engineering. Uh, from there transferred to NDSU. Decided to go into mechanical engineering and four and a half years later I finished my mechanical engineering degree. I help with essential maintenance things, so large maintenance projects, line rebuilds, um, compressor modifications, large capital improvements, so um, putting in process improvements, doing stuff like that, so go through for pretty much from, from the cradle to the grave, so start out with an idea uh, and implement all the way through startup and installation. Work week's probably 40 to 50 hours a week. Uh, installation time frames and deadlines uh, tend to dictate that, so sometimes more. We're in a pretty fast-paced uh, manufacturing facility, so we're, we shut down the plant two times a year for four days total, so in between you know, doing installations and uh, modifications and stuff like that. It's, it's pretty fast-paced, dynamic work environment. As a project engineer, we, we focus on implementing projects, but we also help with continuous improvement and, and all that stuff. So we end up doing a lot of functions. So it's very, very steady, very fast-paced, um, lots, of, lots of variety. So it, it's kind of fun for, for that side of it. We end up doing everything from a compressor all the way to a final install and, and helping people on the floor do their job better and, and be more efficient at it. Yes, I travel probably one week a month. Uh, here as a project engineer, we have two facilities. So we, we service our other location in engineering as well. So I'll go down to the Twin Cities you know, once a month, one week a month or something like that. And uh, also travel for factory testing of equipment. It teaches you how to think and think on your feet. So that, that was kind of the, the thing that I got from, from my education. Uh, in this environment, uh, mechanical engineering degree, you know, we're not doing design and all that stuff all the time, but it, it teaches you how to think and how to critically think and solve problems. Why I chose this career was the variety. I, I got into mechanical engineering, loved taking stuff apart, grew up on the farm, did a lot of maintenance, um, and enjoyed working with the equipment and, and interacting with it. And I think from there I, I figured I wanted to be a mechanical engineer. Um, went to school, decided, hey, this, is, this, is, this actually fits. And uh, you know, so I went into college knowing that I wanted to do mechanical engineering. With that degree, you have a large variety of things you can do. And uh, when I took my internship here, I, I found out that the manufacturing environment, not necessarily what I thought I would be doing, but it turned out to be a great fit. The variety, the, the starting a project and being able to see it completed, doing all that stuff. Being at, at my desk doing some design work, um, some project stuff and being able to go out on the floor and and see that stuff go in was was uh, very rewarding and So that's that's how I ended up here. I think a good work work ethic and a strong ability to critically think and, and being able to Think on your feet. I work with both so I'll develop stuff with a team How how are you gonna fix this problem that we encountered come up do ideas concepts stuff like that and then I will take that project from from the ground floor maybe work a lot of individually developing concepts how to do it finding out who can do it and how we can make it work and then go back to the team and implement it with uh, with a team and and eventually start it up with the the team environment in in the production floor the hardest decisions for me to make are the the budgetary ones. Okay, how much budget do we have? How much ROI do we have? And and how can we, how can we, make a benefit for the production floor without going over budget? You know, there's a lot of things that you you come into. You say, okay, if we could just do this for this operator, it would be great. But you get to the costing, and there's just not quite enough in the budget to do that. So I think those are hard decisions. You know to make a successful project that's on time and at budget.